Hey guys, so I've been getting a lot of messages from my clients um, asking about the government uh, announced increased tax benefits for small businesses due to the GFC and the coronavirus. They're actually blaming the coronavirus, but we all know that it's the GFC that's coming and everyone knew that was gonna come. So basically it's a $17.6 billion economic stimulus package. Fancy words, but basically means that we're giving us um, some tax breaks as well as some money as well. So take note that most of this is not actually a cash grab. So for example, they're increasing the $30,000 instant asset write-off to 150K. Basically, in order to access this tax break, you have to spend money. So you can spend up to 150K on a capital asset. So a motor vehicle, a truck, or equipment for your business and you're going to be able to claim 100% of that in that year, that financial year. So really, you're just getting a tax refund on part of the money that you spent. So if you spent 100K, for example, on a capital asset, you're going to more than likely get to claim that against your income and as a result, claim back a bit of the tax you paid, if you paid. So if you haven't actually made money and you've made a loss and you haven't paid any tax, you spending that $100,000 on a capital asset isn't gonna get you money back. You will get GST back, and that's normal, you always get that, but you uh, claiming that 100K will just put you in a bigger loss for that financial year, and you won't really be getting any tax back because you never paid tax in the first place. So be careful on that, guys. Uh, take note that, um, yes, the government's trying to do something for us, but it's not actually a um, cash grab. It's actually just some tax incentives for us to spend a bit more money and stimulate the economy. So another thing they're planning to do, which is a bit different, is the 25,000 tax-free payment that they're gonna refund to you. So the way it works is that you will employ employees from January to June, and basically whatever you lodged in your business activity statement for that um, period, for those six months, and how much tax you paid for your employees. So assume that you paid $200,000 worth of wages that six month period and 50,000 of it was wages tax. So your PAYG withholding tax um, to your employees, you get to claim 50% of that back. So again, you're not getting a cash grab because you actually have to pay $50,000 in wages tax to the government, but you get 50% of that back. So yeah, you pay, but you get some of it back. So it's, again, it's not really a cash grab. It's really just a refund of what you're paying. Um, another thing is this one here is a cash grab, which is like basically if you get any type of social security, a Centrelink payment from the government, um, if you're a veteran, if you're a pensioner, you get $750 into your bank account automatically. So great pops, but not all of us rely on Centrelink. So more than likely we won't get this. So another thing that we need to look at is hiring apprentices and trainees. More than likely, we start to think, oh, should we be hiring them because it's costing us money and costing us time as well. But they realize this, so they want to give us like a 50% refund on our expenses for hiring that employee. So it's amounting to 50% of the apprentices or trainees wage for up to nine months from 1st of January all the way to 30th of September, 2020. So the maximum subsidy you get is 21,000. That employee has to be an apprentice or trainee. More importantly, where an employer is not able to retain an apprentice, the subsidy will be available to a new employer that employs that apprentice. So if you plan to employ an apprentice, then it's a good idea to start employing now because you're gonna get a subsidy or 50% of that wage. So it's gonna really help if you're a tradie and you're employing apprentices, but if you're not in that industry of employing any apprentice or trainees, then it doesn't really help you. What you'll probably be looking at is that tax-free payment of up to 25K for a refund of the PAYG um, tax withholding that you pay uh, from January to June. Yeah, so that's pretty much the, the benefits that you're really getting. So as you can see, what I just explained to you, most of this is not a cash grab, especially for small businesses. It's actually just a refund for the tax that you've already paid or the wages expense you've paid to your trainees and um, uh, juniors. But what you need to think about is the whole point of this and what the government's trying to do is stimulate the economy. So yeah, they're gonna give you money, but they wanna make sure that you spend that money on your business. So it is beneficial, 
But just know that it's not just free money. It is um, tax that you already paid that you're just getting beat back. So if you think that um, you're not going to be turning a profit and you're going to be making losses, it may not be a good idea to spend more money just to get some back. But if you are going to be making profit and you want to minimize um, your taxes, this is definitely something that we should be looking at. There's still a lot of time, so don't think that it's it's just all going to disappear. Most of these initiatives are at least six months to all the way to the end of the um, uh, calendar year. So a lot of time to look into this. You don't have to start now. Cool.